It's a more than 5 years old laptop and the battery is totally gone. It's showing the cross mark just over it. Even I placed the laptop battery inside it. It is because the lithium ion battery used in the laptops are having a lifespan of 3 to 4 years. After that it will not give you the proper backup. So how I am running the laptop? It's directly powered with the laptop charger and even the battery is removed. It's not even there and it's showing the cross mark. So basically my laptop become a desktop now because I can't carry it anywhere. Anyhow I'm not carrying the laptop much. Whatever the work I have to do, I will do on this table only. And still there is a problem. The problem is with the electrical supply. If the supply goes, the laptop will suddenly close and if I am working on it, I will not get a time to save it. So I came up with an idea to use my old UPS so that I will get a proper time to save the files. But I face the problem again because of the UPS. Most of the UPS today has to be loaded properly so that they will come to know if any load is connected to it. Otherwise it will shut down automatically. And same thing happened with the laptop. Laptop is not taking that much of load and UPS is thinking there is no load is connected to it. And because of that it will turn off after some time. Even though you may feel lucky if that system is not in your UPS, but you are not lucky enough. I will show you how. It is all about the efficiency, how the UPS works. First it will take the supply voltage which is in AC and convert it into the DC and again invert it to provide the load. During the process of conversion and inversion, the lot of energy is wasted. And further again, the laptop charger will convert the AC to DC 19 volt and that will be fed to the laptop. Again the efficiency will reduce over here. But we already have the 12 volt battery inside the UPS that has to be boosted to 19 volt so that we can directly fed into the laptop. To boost the 12 volt to 19 volt I am using XL6009. It is having a wide range of input from 5 volt to 32 volts and the output can be varied from using this variable potentiometer. I got the cable cord from the old laptop charger which was not working which have the three wires one white one black and one blue. The blue one I cut it off because it's the center pin that is a sense wire I don't think it's a useful that's why I removed it and I connected the wires to the output of XL6009 and using this port I put the voltage to 19 volt and given the input from 12 volt battery but still laptop started but it will shut off after some time and I felt that this chip is getting really too hot that's why it is getting shut off after some time for that I use this small DC 12 volt fan over the IC even though it doesn't work again the system gets shut down then I went through the data sheet where maximum 4 ampere switching current is written then I started thinking about which component is leading to current so output is directly connected to this short key diode double S34 so I have to check with the data sheet then I went with the data sheet of double S34 which is used in our circuit that has the maximum handling current of 3 amps only. Again I went with the data sheet of XL009. The short key diode selection table is clearly mentioned over there and you can choose the current rating of the short key diode by swapping the short key diode up to 5 ampere. 
so particularly if you are using 1 and 5A23 then you can reach a current of 5 amperes even in the data sheet of 1 and 5A23 it's written that it can handle a 5 ampere of current so now I am going to change this sort key diode with this sort key diode be careful with the polarity the silver line is the cathode one and the same silver line will go and connect to this point using the soldering gun I remove the sort key diode now it's time to replace with this one but it's quite big and you have to adjust it I will show you how you can do that first bend the legs then cut the legs using wire cutter now you can adjust the leads to the proper point now after the soldering it looks something like this even after doing this also the same problem remains the laptop goes shut down after some time now I thought to put two of these boost converter in parallel I remove the potentiometer from one of the circuit and connect these two wire because we want to control the output voltage simultaneously. I will connect these two wire to the potentiometer terminal. Don't get confused because of three terminal. These two terminal are sorted. So you can take one wire from this one and one wire from last one and that will connect to these two wires. After soldering the potentiometer wire, now we can flip it up like this and we can control both output with this single potentiometer. Now we have to connect them in parallel by connecting this negative input to the negative input, positive input to the positive input and same as for the output for negative output, negative output, positive output and positive output. The connection will be something like this. The DC 12 volt fan to the input side. Now it's become a really powerful boost converter. You can use this circuit anywhere wherever you need more voltage and more current. It's connected to the laptop and laptop is turned on without the battery. I hope you like this video. If you like the video please hit the like button and you can ask any queries in the comment section. As for always, thanks for watching.